proves that. I know that's your claim, and I'm asking you've you to back your claim to, up. You've agreed. With to, you've agreed a... that you are a limited in size being. Correct. Yes. So you are contingent on God, who is unlimited what in size. What is your argument for that claim? You've already demonstrated it for me. You I haven't. No. Me. Just answer it again in short. Just, just repeat it back to him it... so that we understand. You have agreed that you are a limited in size being. So you are contingent on God who is unlimited in size, as you are not in control of everything around you. Only God has that ability because he is who he is. That's Next just begging the question once again. That is your claim, and I'm asking you to demonstrate You've your claim. You've agreed to it. You are a limited I haven't in size agreed being. to your claim, no. I haven't agreed to your claim, no. You, you are not in control of everything around you. So you are a limited in size being. For example, you don't have control of all the stars. Only God has that ability to be That's the holder. That's your claim. I'm asking you to demonstrate that. You are not God. That has That's irrelevant. My worldview is irrelevant to what you're claiming. We share the same worldview. So you you are not in control of all the stuff around you. For example, we don't the stars. share the same worldview. We do because we are talking to each other. So Doesn't we share, we the, share same, the same. We share worldview. the same reality. We share the same ultimate oh, truth. Reality is not a worldview. We share the same ultimate truth. So, in other words, we share the same Christian God. No, we don't. That's your claim, and I'm asking you to demonstrate it. For you to understand the word God requires revelation from Him. And because God is love, we presuppose our loving slash Christian God because the word Christian means to love and Christianity itself. So even before reading the Bible, we know that our Christian God exists. That's incorrect. And the reason it's incorrect is because understanding is conceptual. So that's not an argument. So you yes, need it to, is. You, you need to. Yes, it is. You claim to understand understanding was somehow reality, and that isn't the case. No, God is a concept. I can understand concepts because they're just beliefs. You are presupposing our Christian God to understand that you are a limited and that's size your being. claim. Now show me that, or give me a deductive argument which shows me that's the case, please. You've already agreed with me that you are a limited in size being. And I disagree with your claim that God exists and is you therefore necessary God. for that, that instantiation of reality. You are not God. They're the I never claim to be God. Options. But you, you, have you, you are limited in size. That's, 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 a, that's, that's a false dichotomy. <laughs> It's Sorry, not. Red Fang. I, I, I let the Red Fang go. The I, I think polarity. I've asked you several times to demonstrate or give me a, a syllogism which demonstrates that your claim that God is in fact responsible for all limited uh, minds. Okay, and you haven't You've done already that agreed. yet. You have already and, agreed. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And and you haven't done that until you give you me a deductive syllogism which shows me. That I, it, the only possible outcome uh, for limited minds are unlimited beings. You're then you're I have no reason to believe. Wrong. Then I have no reason to believe that your claim is true. You have already agreed with me that you are a limited in size being. Therefore, you, you are contingent on an unlimited in size being for you to come to that understanding, and that standard is God. So again, That's your this, claim, what I am saying, you have not demonstrated the your claim. creature distinction. That's your claim, but you haven't demonstrated it to be the fact. You've already agreed with me. You are a limited in size being. That yeah, that but has that no relevance your on your claim. Yes, that has no relevance on your claim. Sorry, Red Fang, you go, please. That's empirical evidence. No, it's not. You can't circle around this. You have already agreed with me that you are a limited in size being. Yeah, and you have not given me a deductive syllogism which shows that limited in size beings require unlimited of beings to create them. It logically me, follows. It, it doesn't logically follow it because does. you 
if it did logically follow, you would be able to give me a syllogism to show logically that that's the case. But you can't. All you can do is reassert your claim that it must be the case. You're really and that's agreeing. just an argument. That's that is going, just an, if you and want that, to and that, and that's going that is an argument. And that is just an forward. argument. Well, no. That is just an argument from incredulity, which I will not it's accept. Not. For God to be eternal, he has to have unlimited power to be the sustainer of himself. So that logically follows. You I, are not I'm eternal doubting that there is such a thing as an eternal unlimited. being. I need you to show me that there could be such a thing as an unlimited eternal mind. That was my first objection, if you remember rightly. No, you've asked me the definition. I presented an argument. You asked me the definition of God. So I don't underestimate my memory. And so... Right, you don't remember the then my objection. What was my objection mind, to your definition? The, the, the what was my objection to your definition? You please, ask me for the definition of God. I've explained and what was my, my objection definition. to it? What was my objection to your definition of God? The immaterial mind creates a part. So my response to that is what that about it? we know of an, we know that an immaterial mind exists because God exists. That is the immaterial mind. That's just that begging the question to. again. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You just said God exists because God exists. That is a I classic said, textbook you've asked, begging you've asked the question. Me earlier the you've asked me earlier for the proof of an immaterial mind. And my response to that is God is the proof of an immaterial mind. And, you're, and what is your definition of an immaterial mind? God. Okay, so you're saying God exists because God exists. It's circular, obviously. <laughs> That's a response to your objection to the definition of God. That's not my yeah, whole that argument. Circular my arguments argument, are not going to get by me, dude. My Sorry. argument, my argument was proving Christianity. I presented premise one. You objected to premise one in regards to the definition of God. So that's what we are on about now. So if you want me to that's move on we've to premise always two, been, no, no, we've always been on about premise one. Because premise one is unsubstantiated. You've yet to give me a deductive argument and the empirical evidence you gave me doesn't follow. Right? It so therefore, follow. now you, you, now you need to give me... In size being. So it doesn't follow, therefore, that there is something unlimited in size. So it's a fallacy. It does. <laughs> there no, are many doesn't. reasons. I gave, I've given you one example. Because for God to be eternal, he has to have unlimited power to but be the sustainer of himself. But that's part of your definition for God. So it's circular. I'm giving you an example. So now your so now your, your deductive argument doesn't work. Neither does your inductive argument work. They're both and fallacious. Again, because you are limited in size, the stuff around you is contingent on an unlimited in size being that that doesn't follow. That is a God. non sequitur. It does follow. No, it doesn't follow. Could you please give me the inference rule that you're using to get to that conclusion? You've already agreed that you are a limited in size being. So that's the just evidence. That's just not evident. Yourself. My goodness, it that is, is not evidence. In fact, if anything, it's, it's evidence against the claim. You are not God. In other words, you are not an, an unlimited in size being. Therefore, you are a limited in size being contingent on god who is unlimited in size that's your claim but you still have yet to demonstrate it i've already demonstrated it because you are not god as god would not well firstly right. god would not argue his own existence so you cannot be god you are not absolute perfection therefore you are a limited in size.